Okay, I was gonna show you guys how to drop out some gold. This here is technically what it's called as chlorouric acid, but it is about eight to nine grams of gold dissolved in a mixture of nitric and hydrochloric acid called aqua regia. But to get the gold out of the acid, we're gonna use what's called sodium metabisulfite. You'll notice as we sprinkle it in, it starts to react with the acid. You'll notice that the solution is getting darker. And as it gets darker, that's the gold dropping out to the bottom of the solution. Gotta be careful though, it puts off a pretty nasty chlorine gas. Make sure you're doing this outside. It's going to take quite a bit of this sodium metabisulfite to drop the gold out. As like I said, I had about 8 or 9 grams in there, which means you want to put about 10 grams of this in. But what I usually end up doing is slowly dropping it out. I try to get out as much as I can at first, and then I measure the solution with what's called stannous chloride. It turns a color if there's gold present in the solution. And so then I can tell if there's any gold left. And if there is, then I just continue to drop it out. Doesn't look like much now, but it's getting there. Already you should start to see mud at the bottom. That mud is the gold. One thing to remember, it's a pretty exothermic reaction, so it's going to create quite a bit of heat as you add this. Um, for that reason, a lot of times they tell you to mix this in with water. But I've already got a decent amount of water in this solution, so it shouldn't heat up too much. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue dropping this out and then I will pick up once this is done. Okay, I let it sit for about an hour and as you can see, you can see through it pretty well. Once it clears up like that, it uh, it's pretty much done. Depending on how dirty your mixture is though, meaning uh, how many contaminants like other metals like nickel, lead, copper, uh, it may not clear up so well. Uh, this isn't even as clear as I would hope. I'm probably going to let this sit a bit longer. Um, that way just to be sure I don't lose any gold on this. But all of that powder at the bottom that you see is gold. It doesn't look like it right now because the technic they're just gold na nanoparticles. They're, they, they can't reflect the full wavelength of light and so they just look dark. But once this is done settling, I'll let it sit for about another hour or so. And then uh, I'll filter off the remaining liquid, and then we'll torch this powder down. Okay, this is the gold after I rinsed it, uh, poured all that acid off. It's sitting in water right now. I'm just letting it finish, settle to the bottom. As you can see, it's still a little bit murky. It's just the gold powder, and they're settling down to the bottom. And as you can see in the bottom, that that's the gold powder. That's that brown mud that you saw at the bottom of the acid. Uh, once it's all done settling, I will then drain off the water, and we'll scrape this into a crucible and melt it down to get our gold. 
Okay. Here is that gold powder. It doesn't amount to a whole lot. As you can see, it's pretty fine. It just looks brown, doesn't look much like gold right now, but it will. We'll probably to melt it down though. There's still a little bit left in the glass. Um, I'll get that the next time. I use borax and sodium carbonate as my flux. Now, uh, I don't really buy these little tiny things of borax. I honestly just buy a big old box at Walmart for a dollar. Uh, but I just refill these because it makes it easy to put into the crucible. But the uh, flux used to melt this gold down is comprised mainly of borax. Uh, you put a little bit of sodium carbonate in there to help things out a little bit. Okay. Let's set this camera down for a second. Okay. Got a little holder here for the crucible. And we'll get ready to fire it up. Just got a coffee can full of water. We'll get this gold melting. I'll try to hold the camera as best as I can while melting this, but we'll see how it goes. Now, whenever you're melting this, you want to go in on it kind of slow and get that borax starting to melt. Otherwise, you'll melt or you'll blow away all of your gold powder. And it doesn't take very much uh, for us, as it's really fine. It's like talcum powder. So it doesn't take a whole lot to really blow it away on you. But just keep the torch nice and far away. Wait for that borax to start to change. And once it turns to a liquid and seals in some of that top layer of gold powder, that's when you can bring the torch down in on it. As you can see, I'm even blow blowing some of that borax out. I really should have a slightly larger crucible. And the type of gas that I'm using here is just map gas. Uh, you bite up at Lowe's, it's like $10 a, a bottle. And I find you can melt quite a bit of stuff down with a single bottle. As you can see, as that borax starts to liquefy, I start to bring in the torch closer and closer. Now, I don't know how well this camera is going to pick up getting this melted. 
guess we're ready to find out. Normally when I do this, I'm not holding a camera. I'm actually holding onto the crucible with this handle that I used to here. And so, I'm usually a little bit more coordinated while I do this. In fact, I think it's probably better so I don't lose any of my gold that I uh, put the camera down and pick this up and I'll, put, I'll pick up the camera once it's all liquefied. Okay, so once it turned to a liquid, I moved it back up here on the barrel. Uh, essentially right now it is almost all of, all liquid I ended up having to dump out some of that flux used a bit much in there because you can see the whole thing in there moves around Here, how this gold looks. Let's cool for a second. Oh, it's got some weight to it too. But there you go. A good chunk of 24 karat gold. It doesn't feel like I lost a whole lot of weight. It feels like most of it's still there be surprised at how heavy gold weighs once you actually go to pick it up but 
that is how you turn chlorauric acid into a gold nugget. Oops, don't want to lose that.